uh, in terms of the 2020 21 season when Blackpool were in uh, League One, 23 games, five goals, three assists. Since Blackpool have come up into the Championship, those numbers have sort of dropped off in terms of goals and assists. Last year, 39 games, one goal, four assists. Now he's back in League One again. Are you expecting a jump in terms of productivity from CJ, in terms of assists, goals per game? Uh, he found the step up a bit tough. Um, not not in the year that obviously I was here in the championship. No, I think CJ contributed um, in so many different ways to us having you know a, a successful return to the championship. I can't comment on what happened here last year and things changed. All all I can look at now is CJ right now, uh, who he is now, and where he fits into our team and what we can do to try and help him to improve. CJ, again, is a he's like a lot of the players here. He's so humble. His work ethic's unquestionable. Um, if you look at the, I think maybe the two or three best chances we had at Lincoln last week, they all came from CJ. Um, so we know the qualities he's got and we want to try and help him to improve. Um, and CJ is someone that wants to get better and improve, no matter how many times he's played, what age he is, he's got a desire to try and be the best he can be. And that's my job to try and help him. And obviously you feel that he can uh, get back uh, to those uh, levels that uh, he was at, because he was in the Irish picture there for a while and he was uh, making his international debut and it looked like everything was exploding for him, but it's sort of quietened in a while. And do you think there's, we're going to see a kick now from CJ again, uh, but a sort of a point to prove is he got a chip on his shoulder? Um, I wouldn't say he's got a chip on his shoulder. He just wants to do well. He's got a desire to try and be the best he can be. And I know getting into the um, Ireland squad is something that he's ambitious about. He wants to do that. He's had a little taste of it and he wants it again. So there would be nothing giving no greater pleasure than to give someone like CJ, who's such a great person, that opportunity. And to do that, we know that he needs to be performing for us on the pitch and playing well for us. And um, I say he, he's probably like a lot of the players at this moment in time is we're just searching a little bit uh, for who we are um, as a team. There's been a lot of change, a new way of playing, and the expectation is a little bit different. So, we have to adjust, we have to adapt, um, and we have to keep working to um, get it to all click into place. Obviously, we all know about the fantastic talents of Shane Lavery, an absolutely amazing uh, player, and a real one of the marquee players in uh, this division. Uh, I suppose, how excited, I know Shane's absent this week, but how excited are you maybe at the possibility of getting Shane and Jordan on the pitch at, at the same time later on the season and seeing them, Jordan as a target man, Shane running in behind a sort of file and seeing them work in tandem. I know you haven't got a chance to see it yet, but how exciting is it at a manager? Because it has massive potential, really. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, Shane is... You know, again, he had a great um, pre-season, fantastic start to the season. He's had chances in other games. It's just not quite gone his way. Uh, but he's got a desire always to score goals, always to be in the box. Things fall for him. And hopefully, you, you him being around Jordan, you, you see already in the short period that Jordan's been here, you can see why he scored so many goals in his career his positioning inside the penalty box, his movement, and he's finishing. He's very calm. He can score off both feet. He passes the ball into the goal. So hopefully that'll be someone for, for Shane to learn off, look up to, um, and hopefully he'll help him to develop as a player because sometimes it's not always about what I say or the coaches say. Sometimes you learn from people around you and um, the players you're playing with. Um so I'm sure Shane will be able to learn a lot from Jordan whilst he's at the football club. 
And we all know the strengths of Jordan Rhodes. Uh, he's a poacher supreme. He's a fox in the box. But karaoke's uh, addition, uh, pronounce, apologies, pronunciation, the name, karaoke's Dembele's addition, I suppose. He's the talent to beat players out wide, that sort of flair and that sort of trickery. And obviously, if he beats one or two and he gets to the byline, that's obviously going to create more freedom for Jordan in terms of delivery. So it's already put about the in-product getting delivery and, I suppose, putting it on the head of Jordan. Jordan Rhodes, because we know if you put the ball on the head of Jordan Rhodes, it normally finds the back of the net. Yeah, and we're hopeful that um, Caddy can do that for us. Um, he does provide something different in the final third. He's got quality. So we know if we can um, produce those moments of quality in and around the box, whether that's a pass or a cross or setting someone up to score, then we know we've got players in the team who can finish. Jordan being the being the best for them, if you look at his obviously his record and uh, the goals that he scored in his career, um, so hopefully that will Jordan will contribute himself, but he will help the others within the the squad and um, Caddy will help that as well. I think in the final third. Yeah, final two questions for me. First question uh, on. Uh... With the opponents this weekend at uh, Wigan. When I look at Wigan, they're probably one of the most experienced teams in terms of age-wise, in terms of this division. An awful lot of players in their mid to late sort of 20s, an awful lot of players that have been uh, around the uh, around the block in terms of no League One very well, no maybe the, the bottom end of the championship very well. So it's no really great surprise when you look at all the experience. And this is not a youthful Wigan team. This is very much an experienced team with an awful lot of established uh, players, so I know obviously the setbacks that they've had to unfold in club, but it shouldn't really take anyone by surprise that they've started so well. No, it doesn't take me by surprise because they have got good, good players, good quality, good experience, like you say, S supplemented with some good younger players as well. I think they've got a good balance, um, and they've got off to a good start. But it's only, you know, what's the definition of a good start? Is it, um, is it? Five games, is it ten games? What you know, it's it's a long old season. Um and they've they've had a good start. Uh, but it's say that doesn't mean that will continue and it, it things can change very, very quickly in football. Um games come thick and fast and you can quickly pick points up and the the feeling can change for better or for worse very quickly. Um they've got say Sean's you can see the way they want to play. Um, you can see he coaches the team in the way that he wants the team to play like him. Um, I always think that the teams are a reflection of the manager or the coach in charge. And it's quite clear on how we can want to go about things. And they've been very impressive so far. And the final question for me, the dreaded question for any manager on uh, transfer uh, deadline day in terms of rumours and speculation. You don't really have to answer them in such, but as a journalist, you got to ask them if there's any legs in them. Uh, Ryan Longman from Hull, any legs in that? Um, no, no. No, uh, um, no yeah, I believe he's going. Oh, and... Uh, no. The two uh, lone youngsters, maybe in the the Premier League, Scott Banks and Josh Feeney. Any bit of legs in that? Did you say Scott Banks? Scott Banks and Josh Feeney. Well, Scott Banks has gone to Germany okay. a few weeks okay. ago. Okay. Um, no, 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 no problem. But you're open for business, anyway. You're open for business, Neil. Possibly. Yeah, we're open for business. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Thanks, Neil. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Neil. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Basie. Thank you.